While fugu, in fact, is actually quite safe to eat these days, the history is long and dark and has left a bit of a reputation for fugu, otherwise known as puffer fish. Nowadays, the Japanese are experts about which species and which parts of those species can safely be eaten. However, what really interests me is this took hundreds of years probably to figure out, and lots of deaths. The first person to eat here and there and die, I can totally understand we all make mistakes with the unknown. But the people after that, who knew this was a dangerous fish and still went on to eat, that's what I find interesting. The second and third person on. And this is how I imagine it might have happened. Rashaymasay! Hi. Hi. Hey, silly question, but what year is it in this skit? Mate, this skit is so far back in time, I don't know what year it is. Something like 2,000 years ago, back in the Jomon period of Japan. Do? Sounds like the context, setting, and costumes in this skit are all bullsh**. Totally. Times are tough. This is the only gig I could get. Same here. Holy cultural appropriation, Batman. Or maybe it's whitewashing. I don't even know. Yeah, I hear ya. I feel like Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai. Alright, catch you later. Night later. Uh, I'm still thinking. What are you having? I'll give this a new fish a try. I like the name, Fugu. Fugu onegeshimasu! Oh, you're the first one to try! Very lucky. Uh, here you go. Thank you. Mmm. Wow, that looks unpleasant. What are the chances of that happening again? I'll have the same thing. Fugu onegeshimasu! Uh, here you go. Thank you. Hey, chef. How's that new fugu doing? Uh, it's a bit strong. Ooh, sounds mysterious. I'll have that. 